welcome back to Impetuous Order. Today we're going to be looking at Yu Jing's Xu Xuan Immediate Action Unit. So this is a miniature that can swap between a mobile form and a combat form. So let's just crack this open. This is a Silhouette 5 miniature that is available to both Vanilla and also to ISS and possibly in White Banner. I'm not that sure on that. But as you can see, yeah, there's a high mobility form and a combat form. Um, two line of fire bases, 40 mil, and then we have torso. So this is the main body of the mobility form, which is like a cap. And this is like the main body, or one of the legs and the torso for the combat form. Now this is a heavy infantry with climbing plus a spitfire, no wound incapacitation, and it doesn't have a pilot or anything, so it's entirely mechanical. So it comes with remote presence, so you don't have to worry about it getting locked down. Let's, these are the parts for the mobility ball, and this is a tail. Swish and cute. Here is one of the claw paws. So that will go on the mobility form that I showed you a few moments ago. That's one of the front, the arms slash front legs. And this is the other one. So there are a lot of like uh, details of the kind of underarm areas. Like if you look here, this kind of area and here, which are going to be really great for using contrast paints. And here we have two, I'll show you two highlights again. So again, lots of details. If you want to paint this with contrast paints to get the main under bit with a grey. That would be really good. I mean, you can just touch up these um, more plate-like areas as needed. And lastly, this is the Spitfire, I think, or it, its gun that goes on the high mobility mode, so kitty mode. Let's just call it kitty mode. Kitty mode sounds much better than high mobility mode. In. And let's look at the parts for the uh, combat mode. So the combat mode obviously has more traditional. Like, this is the other leg that isn't attached to the torso. Here is the uh, weapon on the arm. And again, you can see there's some wonderful details that are going to come up great for you to use a contrast paint to do non-metallic metals. A little knife. I'm not sure how great this guy is in close combat, but there we go. Up next we have the head. And a very interesting kind of neck. That's his neck, and there is the head. This is a backpack. Let's call it backpack. And lastly is two kind of satellite dishes. Which one I think these are pretty much identical. So um, I think these are one for the mobility form and one for the combat form. Um, I haven't, I faced it several times, but I've never used one, and I don't really want to use one. It's a cool enough model, I suppose, but it's not something that really grabs my attention. 
um, in terms of something I really feel like I want to play on the battlefield. Um, but please like and subscribe, drop a comment below. With anything you would like to see in the future, uh, we will see you in our next unboxing video because trying to get around to doing a battle report is very challenging at the moment because we don't meet up a lot and we don't have a dedicated place where people can come play it. So that's all there. So thanks for watching and see ya!